Hello, <clears throat> and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warbands The Town Kingdoms mod. I'm your host, Marcus. Uh, well, as you saw in the last videos, I took Amarad's two castles. Now I'm going to assault Amarad, but um, another thing popped up. The Ichimuri Incarnate has laid siege to Distar Castle. I created several patrols at Tolga. Um, from mercenaries I collected along my way. Sent several around Samara Castle so I could garrison these fortresses easily. <clears throat> I sent two to reinforce Distar Castle. Uh, hopefully it's defended. And if not, eh, oh well. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to attack this one. First, hammer. I need my hammer. Hmm. One of my villages has been looted. Or oh, a village. That's fine. Villages are of small consequence. Just a little less money for me. Of course, I am the Marshal, so it increases my controversy, which is not particularly high because I take out so many enemies, which causes it to go down. Archers. Oh, there. I would say they have close to 2,000 soldiers inside. I would have liked to send in a lord into this castle so I could collect the prisoners, but I can work with this. Hmm. I won't send in my archers yet. I don't want to get, there. Want to get shot. Get these ones over here. Everyone, hold over here. Pull back for just a moment so I can get in. Charge in. There we go.
forces on mass toward me. I will destroy them. back charge in more enemies we'll hold in this position for now hold there we'll let them get close and then charge in. Mm, charge. Okay, I don't think they have any more soldiers incoming. I'll let them go first. I don't want to be targeted. First one in there is always targeted. one more wave, maybe two. Or maybe we've taken most of them out already. Hard to say. Yes, we've won. Well, almost. Just need to go through the town and the castle. And 400. And it's over. Good. How do they get down from there? Do they jump? <laughs> mm. Doesn't matter. On to the castle. And Amarad is ours. We'll station a good garrison here. Maybe 600. You are my prisoner, Sultan. Many kingdoms do not like that. That's fine. It's better to let the lords in this mod go sometimes. Maybe the king is good because he fetches a good ransom, but whenever you capture a lord, any allies of that particular faction are very upset about it. You're free to go. You're free to. And you're free to go as well. Yes, I will throw in a very nice garrison. Oh, 
believe 400 inside. Master Archers, Horsemen, Mandix, Infantry, Mercenary Crossbowmen, Archers. Hmm. Veteran footmen, I suppose. I suppose I'll ask no reward. Throw in a few prisoners. Bring myself down to 400 men, I think. Hmm. Anyway, I'll cut away here and come back in a moment. See you then. Okay, we are back. It looks as though the Principality of Ravidin has taken Sungetche. Um though they seem to be under siege by someone else. Anyway, I'm going to save Distar Castle. Let's have a fun time. And join the battle. Hmm, for a second I had thought there was a giant behind me. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, you go up that. And over there. This is going to take a long time.
Well, this is boring. <laughs> I've always found field battles more exciting than war band sieges. Well, I suppose attacking in a siege is more exciting than defending, but defending is, well, strategic, defensive, very important to do. Hmm. I'm down to about a million dinars now. I've been buying far too many mercenaries. I bought close to 300 mercenary cavalry for uh, about 100,000 dinars. Not cheap.
I think these are the last of them. I can't believe I hit that one. That was a good shot. And we're done. Well, we need to fight them in the field, I think. Let me take out a few. And leave. Hmm. I have 361 archery. day to you. Surrender or die. <laughs> this will not take long. Archers oh, just head back. Jill Calvin Republic is about to be victorious. The enemies of our nation will tremble and fall. here. Or tiger bandits, I guess. Same thing, essentially. <laughs> then again, I suppose they have been fighting the um, Principality of Kudan. So probably get a lot of those kind of prisoners. prisoners too, so that's nice. Bolster my numbers somewhat. taken prisoner. Kind of do. You're my prisoner. Oop. They don't like that. You're pretty good. Yes, I'm cruel. over a hundred extra recruits.
transfer this to okay don't need to fill in that garrison anyway I'll cut away here and come back a bit later see you then okay we are back the Ichamurian Carnate has made peace and we have a truce with them now I have at times um, attacked uh, the patrols of factions that have this um, green color um, which means they have a fair amount of relation with um, the Jelkalan Republic. However, when they're neutral like this, no green, just a kind of grey outline, it means they're only at zero relation. They don't hate us, they don't like us, they're just neutral. And I find that when I attack factions with this particular, at this particular level, it's easy to start a war. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can attack this Ichimurian patrol, which has over 100 prisoners, and see what happens. Surrender or die, and we can attack them. Now, I'm not sure if this makes the Ichimurian Khanate aggressive to the Jalkalan Republic, or just me, my particular character and whatnot. But it doesn't matter. I can defeat the Ichimori Incarnate on my own. I have not really utilized my powers as Marshal, because if I have additional Lords attacking the castle with me, uh, I don't get all of the prisoners inside. Which is a problem. Because I want more prisoner the prisoners inside of the garrison so that I can put them in the garrisons to hold the castles better. But we'll see what happens. Now this is not a lord, so they shouldn't hate me too much. It's not a villager, so the village they're from shouldn't hate me too much. This is a patrol. Are there any penalties for just attacking a patrol? I don't know. They do not appear any as of yet, other than, you know, making a war on someone. Okay. Looks as though we've won. Though there might be another round. Hmm. Yes, there will be. Mm, cavalry over there. We defeated the Ichimurian army not too long ago. So they should not be particularly threatening. of low-level troops, looters, farmers, peasant women. I'll take out these and let my infantry and archers come forward. So we'll keep the cavalry prepared to charge in at a moment's notice, if needed. My armor's so good that these kind of troops don't even hurt me. They're lucky to get one hit point of damage on me. Unless they're this skirmisher or bandit over there. Perfect. Plenty of prisoners, plenty of new recruits. I think I'm going to end the video off here though. You know, just a little experiment, see what happens. Ooh, 
six Mamluks. It looks as though the army from the Sultanate of Bari is up here too. I believe I saw them before jumping in here. Not the best loot, but I can sell it at any old village. Lords, they're fighting the. Oh, I'm not at war with them. Why not? Do I have to find a caravan and threaten them? Hmm. I wonder, can I jump in and help them here? But let's see if I can do that. Hmm. It's not a large force. Hmm. Any tasks? Are you sure? How many soldiers? Of course. Give me a few recruits and I'll give you a few lances. Hurumada, I believe. Here are the Kyrgyz. You're very welcome, my friend. Hmm. I'll leave you to your fate. Oh, I can't get involved because we're not fighting. Uh, must I attack some village farmers? Sargoth is besieged by the Kingdom of Wurcheg. Well, since they're at peace with me, I guess I'll go up there and help them. We're only at war with Wurcheg and Rivercheg, and I don't want to capture these fiefs. They're kind of behind the lines, but I suppose I could if I really wanted to. Wurcheg looks takeable, and the old Burke and Wurcheg. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. See you then.